The following program contains scenes of violence intended for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Wrestling fans, Mad Dog Marty Sugar here. Episode 6 of Season 2 of Wild Okanagan Wrestling is finally here. If it wasn't rain, if it wasn't snow, we have flooding in the Okanagan. One thing after another. But hey, you know what? We've got wrestling too. We have an amazing battle in our main event between Shreds and Shotgun 1 last time. And we're going to take a peek at Rutland May Days. 58th Annual Rutland May Days. On the May long weekend, first time Big West Wrestling, any wrestling, has been at May Days in four years. We're going to go to that right now. Quick disclaimer, fans. If you happen to score bingo while watching this show, it doesn't count. Do not ask us for prizes. Yes, only at May Days will you see bingo right beside professional wrestling and only will you see at a fair a wrestler demanding his shirt be folded by a referee that is judas icarus young man from vancouver island he is wrestling nathan cave a young man from vancouver these two guys making their big west debut and despite giving up some size icarus takes control early kids only 19 already a year and a half in the business nathan cave almost 21 just a few months icarus puts him down hard kid has an attitude and yes he is wrestling barefoot and that ring got to about 34 degrees that canvas so it didn't feel good for anybody definitely barefoot and icarus is not feeling good right now nathan cave sends judas icarus flying Just wants a break here Back to the action. And I tell you what, fans, all long weekend, the fans were giving the gears to Judas Icarus. They did not like him. They said a couple of things, and I promise you they will not make television because they were pretty unexpected from a bunch of young children. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, Judas Icarus really got under everyone's skin, and he is getting in Nathan Cave's face and he is just controlling but oh look at that no leapfrog that time but an arm drag puts him down Cave is young he is long and lean he's got long arms long legs he's using that to his advantage right now and Icarus is desperate trying to catch a breather here and Nathan Cave is giving him no chance to relax pounding fists in the corner but there we go being smart using some leverage and he puts Cave face first into those turnbuckles Hot, hot weekend at May Days. Nice to see the weather getting warm. Of course, it's affecting us in other ways. But we're going to focus on wrestling here. Nice. Fisherman suplex and a vicious knee. Perfect plex is also what it's called. After the late, great Kurt Hennig. And a good old-fashioned choke on the ropes. The young kid has some veteran skills. Trained by Eddie Osborne on Vancouver Island. Eddie Osborne, we'll see him in upcoming episodes him and i had some brutal fights on may day's long weekend took about a year and a half off my career i tell you what judas icarus in control on his bigger foe he's only 19 like i said uh, don't let his size and his youth fool you the kid has some skills lining up nope elbow to the face like i said k does a reach advantage nice clothesline Puts Icarus down hard. Here we go. This could be it right here. The Jeffery in position. Here's the replay. Look at that lariat. That'll take your head off in a hurry. Smart move. You don't have to like it, but that is a venture move. And right down to the knee. Vicious kicks. Brutal kick to the back of the head. Trying to finish him early here, but nope. Lazy cover, and that will get you. This is where youth gets in the way. That experience has hooked the leg. Nice snap mare. Vicious kick to the back. Cave is hurting right now. And just grinding him down on the mat. Like I said, it was hot all weekend. Cave's wearing all black. He's down on that mat. He's not enjoying life right now. 
fans are behind him. He's trying to fight back again, using those long legs to get back up. Fighting free, a couple of punches. Can he break free? Yep. Oh, vicious shot. Okay, fights back with a nice punch of his own. And another forearm. These two are just going toe to toe. Two young lions. Colin Cutler said this one was one of his favorite matches of Saturday. And you're seeing why. These two kids. Look at Cave just measuring. Nice lariat. Here comes another one. Just putting Icarus down hard. Cave is feeling good right now. Oh, nice reverse. Chris showing that ring awareness. And so does Cave. Ouch. Swing and a miss. Up he goes. Vicious belly to back suplex. Almost a slam there. Puts Icarus down hard. Almost got the three. Here's the replay. Talk about whiplash. You wonder why pro wrestlers spend a lot of money at a chiropractor. And at the dentist, there's a jawbreaker. Coming off the ropes. Vicious kick. Puts Cave down hard. Nearly got it right there. And look at the replay. Cave tried to get out of the way. Didn't happen. Icarus is begging for a three count. Trying to kiss some feet. I don't know. Maybe that's some Eastern ways there. He's learned with his martial arts skills. But the referee says no way. 2.9. Argue all you want, kid. The referee's decision is final. But Icarus is determined. Going for a double underhook something here. Oh, Cave reverses. Double under DC. Oh! Icarus is out cold. And there's your winner, just like that. Check out the replay. Brutal. Unconscious. Alrighty, guys, we're not going to waste any time. Let's get right into this because these two are getting right into this. Shreds and Shotgun, no strangers to each other, ladies and gentlemen. They hate each other's guts. These guys have been feuding for over a year. One of the most violent, catastrophic, out of control feuds, just like the start of this match. Look at them go. No disqualification. Loser leaves town, and the fists are flying. Look at these two go out of control. The Jeffrey is simply going to let things fly. No DQ, like I said. There must be a winner, and one of these guys is packing his bags and leaving Big West Wrestling, whether he likes it or not. There we go, like we said, Loser Leaves Town. This is back on April the 7th. Big main event. This has been brewing for over a year, like I said, about a year and a half. As soon as Shotgun debuted, end of 2015, early 2016, decided with Colin Cutler and the Dark Souls Society. You know what? That made him public enemy number one in Mike Shreds' eyes because the Adult Social Society, their goal has been to control the Big West Wrestling Television title. And that title is something Shreds wants himself. Everybody wants to become Big West TV champion. It is the goal in this company to be the top guy. And right now one of these guys not only wants to be the top guy, but wants to still be employed after this match is over. Shotgun early in control. The fans have cleared out of those chairs because they know something's going down here. Action's barely even been in the ring. Oh, big reverse, into the ring goes Shotgun. Trying to get away, trying to catch a breather. Shred just trying to pull himself up. Oh, nice top of the line. Big hip toss, there we go. Shotgun slow to get up and right back down he goes and a nice drop kick. Shreds is pumped. The Shreddies have his back as always. But could this be the last time they see Shreds in a wrestling ring in Big West? Everything's on the line here. Huge stakes. Set him up for suplex. Nice power. Looking good so far for Shreds. Purple power indeed. Over early cover. Probably a little too early there. Not the best cover. Already these two guys even swinging for the fences. They're hurting early. Nice big punch. And another one. Oh, but Shotgun fires back. Those big long arms. Off the ropes. Oh, big reverse. Nice catch. The deep six. To almost. Wow, that was almost a three early. Here's the replay on that. Check it out. Boom. 
the fans were split. A lot of shreddies, but you know what? Shotgun Stevens, like him or not, and most of us don't like him, he has gained a cult following in the Okanagan. Lots more people coming down from Salmon Arm, where he's from, to see him wrestle in Kelowna and Vernon and Peachline Penticton. Gained a real following. Oh, look at that, the distraction. Out to the apron. Another stomp, those long legs, lethal. Off the ropes and into the wall. And of course, remember the bad shoulder. Look at that, there we go. The bad shoulder of Shreds that Shotgun injured last year. Put Shreds out for months. Put him behind the eight ball, out of contention for much of the year as far as the TV title was concerned. And Shreds will not forgive Shotgun for that. Just pounding him in the corner there. Our camera people doing their best to try and get some semblance of order here. The, the Jeffrey can't do nothing. Security's just trying to keep fans safe at this point. Big West managing partner Mike Chisholm, he's just watching to make sure that this is official and goes down the line. But you know what? In a no DQ match, who knows what's going to happen. Reds is in trouble now, having taken a face full of chair. But he's a gamer fighting back. Oh, vicious elbow right to the back of the head. Chuck up stalking his opponent. So these two have been feuding since pretty much day one. 2016 was the year of Shreds and Shotgun beating each other up, and just 2017, it just got meaner. It went from wrestling to just trying to injure each other. And now here we are, and it's just trying to end each other's career at this point. That's how bad things have gotten, that they can't even coexist in the same company, in the same territory. Shotgun's big head. Went into the mat there. Not sure who got the worst of it there. Shotgun or the Big West Ring. That is a big dome. Big fist. Those big soup bone fists of Shotgun Stevens. A big kick to the chest. Into the wall again. Cut back to the action. We had a hard time, like I said, getting the cameras around security, around the fans. And these two are just going nuts up on the ramp. Oh, Shotgun blocked it. Powered out. Look at the strength. Both of these guys so strong. Two of the toughest young men in BC. And Shreds is in trouble after taking that Garber up to the face. Setting up some chairs. He said no DQ. The Jeffrey, he's watching, but he can't do nothing. All he can do is count a three or a tap out. Or if someone just says, forget it, I quit and I got enough. Look at that, security, camera people. <laughs> Kenzie Vega, braving the elements here, trying to get the best picture she can. These two, they're fighting up by the pool table. Oh, big reverse, into the chairs goes Shreds. Into that hardwood ramp, I've been slammed on that and had splinters for days. Back to the action, missed the chair shot, luckily for Shreds, that was Home run swing, but caught one in the midsection. He said, anarchy rules today. Let's fight back. Got shotgun back in the ring, but he could barely stand up. Literally just threw him to get away, but the nice elbow to the midsection. Again, still exhausted. Does he have enough in the tank? There we go. Oh, ducks the line. Ah, big diving crossbody. Vintage shreds. Shotgun somehow kicked out of that. Shreds is just exhausted. Here's the replay. Excellent air. But I think that was about all the energy he had in the moment. And a vicious kick. As you can see, Shreds was on offense, but Shotgun got up first. Shreds is in trouble after taking that big tumble on the floor and the chair shot to the midsection. And now just choking him on the ropes, taking that oxygen away. Shreds is a machine, but you know what? You take the gas out of the tank and he's useless. Shotgun knows that, so he's going to strangle Shreds. He's going to do everything to wear the muscular Mohawk man down. It's just shot to the back. And now just mocking the Shreddies. Sometimes that backfires. When you have the fans chanting your name, it can help you. But you know what? Sometimes it just fuels your opponent. Let's do it right now with Shotgun. 
Shotgun wants to disappoint the Shreddies, wants to ruin their spring. Big shot. Every shot here, home run swing. Vicious kick to the face. Here's the replay. It was a knee right to the temple. Every shot, like I said, is a home run swing at this point. This is less a wrestling match, and it is just a prize fight. Bye-bye, Shred, Shotgun says. But it's a prize fight, like I said. Every shot is that shot to put the man down for good. Here we go. Setting him up here. Big fall away slam. Sand Shreds flying clear across the ring. And that hurt the back. It's going to be hard to put a man up for a TKO with a sore back. Excellent, intelligent wrestling. Look at the air here and the impact. Smart wrestling by Shotgun Stevens. Work in the shoulder, work in the back. How is Shreds going to get a man up for the TKO if he is that hurt? He can't. That's what's going to happen. Shotgun is confident. Mocking the crowd, stalking his prey. And just cinching in, like I said, working that shoulder. Working that bad shoulder that he injured. Taking advantage and just zooming in. We're trying to get the best angle we can here, but the pain on Treads' face. He doesn't want to tap out, but he might not have a choice. Fighting up, though. True testament. Oh, nice, nice knee in the midsection. He goes, oh, look at that. Nifty scoop power slam right into the arm breaker. What is that? I have never seen Shotgun pull out a submission. He's going to make the man tap out in a loser leaves town match. Look at the impact on that power slam. There's another angle. And he's trapped. Look at that. Oh, and it, look at that. Hit him in the face. Shreds has nowhere to go at this point. Oh, he's trying to power out. Impressive. And just a vicious punch to the face. Oh, and a kick. Kick to the jaw and another one. That's how you break an arm breaker, folks. You just punch the guy in the face if you can. Doesn't have to be pretty. just has to be effective. And that was effective. Vicious shot to the shoulder and the neck. Oh, Shred's trying to fight back. Look at him. Like I said, every shot, you're making him count. Back to that arm. Shotgun's going to take that home as a souvenir if you let him. And you WWE fans know what that's about. Shotgun trying to uh, be a smart aleck, and it cost him. There's a replay. Yep, yeah, that hurts a lot. That's steel cable under those tape ropes. And now it shreds back on the offense, trying to find the move that will put Shotgun away. Trying for a superplex. The disco ball's in the way, but you can see what's happening. Shotgun's trying to escape. Oh, vicious shot to the face. Shotgun is dazed and confused up there. Shreds is going for a big superplex. Can he hook this? There he goes, rocking the ring. Oh, and can you get it here? Right into the cross face. Impressive, bit of a struggle, but there we go. Look at that impact on that superplex. Right into the cross face. I'm not even mad that the kid stole my move. So I'm gonna tap the fans, just screaming for him to tap out. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, everyone's stealing the Mad Dog's playbook, biting to get free. You don't have to like Shotgun, but I I respect what he's doing there. You got to escape sometimes by any means necessary. This is no DQ, fans. Anything goes, and you got to bite to escape a submission hold, you bite. You got to punch a man in the face to break a submission hold, you do it. And again, swinging for the fences. These two are exhausted. We are watching a match of the year here in the Okanagan, and you know it. Swinging away. Giving it everything they got. Another good punch. Oh, he blocks it. Shred's firing up. Those Shreddies. They are his inspiration, Big Chop. Big Lariat puts Shotgun down. And a back elbow. Shreds is pumped. This could be it. Oh, drives him to the corner. 
Now it's his turn to take the oxygen away, like I said. It's two big machines and they got no gas in the tank. Oh, ouch. Setting him up again. Keep you going for a superplex? Oh, another vicious punch. You remember that open hand shot of his is what put Shotgun down and helped Deeds become two-time TV champ. Set him up for the TKO here. Oh, an attitude adjustment. Look at that. Just adding to the arsenal as we go. And somehow Shotgun kicks out. And talk about attitude, Mike Rizzo has come to ringside. A couple months ago, Mike Rizzo and Shotgun Stevens, they had parted ways business-wise. Mike Rizzo's been working with King Cash in Invasion. But we should not have been surprised that Rizzo would show up here in such a huge match. He hates shreds too. And the distraction, it could be costly. Oh, vicious kick to the midsection. Oh, here's a power bomb that cost Shreds the TV title match in the three-way. You saw that. Big power bomb there. Puts him down again. This could be it. If it ends like this because of a Rizzo distraction. Oh, a big kick out. And look at the impact. Shreds, man. Calling for Rizzo to bring a weapon into play. Oh, what if Rizzo was going to hit a fan with the chair? What is going on? Everything is out of control. We're going to have to have a chat with security. Set him up for another one. Power bomb on the chair. This is going to be trouble. Oh, escaped. Oh, vicious. DDT on the steel. Watch the replay here. Shreds fights out and thud. That'll put a man out. I don't care how big your skull is, Shotgun Stevens. Let's go, here we go. Oh. And this is where no DQ comes into play. Rizzo thinking he's funny. Breaks up that pin and getting in the crowd's face. Maybe you should pay attention, Mr. Rizzo. There goes the cowboy hat. Oh, big punch to the midsection. What are we gonna do here? Oh no! Wow! Flying Rizzo! You saw the replay, vicious shot. Oh, and that was a vicious shot right to the midsection. Look out! Right across the back. Rizzo was down and out, but you know what? He may have done all he needed to do to help. Oh, Shreds didn't even have time to think. Chair in the hands, chair to the face. There's a replay. Destroyed the chair. May have destroyed the hopes and dreams of the, no! How did he kick out of that? Shotgun is livid. What else do you have to do? Screaming at Shreds to stay down. Screaming at him to quit. He's out on his feet. Shock is going to go for the TKO to add insult to injury. Oh, but Shreds escapes. Ducks the boots. Oh, and hits Shotgun with his own boot to the face. How about that? Eat your own move, kid. Up he goes. Could this be it? He's got him hooked. Kicking that chair. Uh-oh. Look out. TKO on the chair. Oh, that has to be it. There it is. He's done it. What an amazing match. A post-match, we thought we were going to have a bigger showdown here. Security distracted by Rizzo. Things could have gotten ugly in a hurry here. Sometimes you just gotta let the moment speak for themselves, fans.
You don't have to like Shotgun Stevens, but this young man has been an amazing wrestler in the Okanagan for a year and a half. His career has come to an end. Hugs all around. This is a really touching moment. First of all, let's give it up for both Mike Shreds and Shotgun Stevens. Oh, what the hell? Oh, man, oh, man. And that's what we do in Big West Wrestling. Now, I understand it's late, and I understand kids have bedtimes, and if you guys have to go, I get that. But what some of you may not remember or realize is that two years ago, Shotgun Stevens had his very first match against the Cougar Meat kid called Cutler. And I remember, I don't know if you remember this, but I remember after that match, I, we got to the back and I looked you in the eyes and I said, that was your first match. Absolutely blew my mind how much of a fight this kid brought to me in his very first professional wrestling match, which is not easy to fight with people like him. And over the last two years, I've tried really hard to mentor Shotgun Stevens, but what I, what I realized tonight, as you head out the door, out of Big West Wrestling, is that over the past two years, I've learned way more from you than you've learned from me. Mentoring Shotgun Stevens made me realize that I could lead an individual, I could mold an individual into being the best that they can be. Look at the records. He's been Big West Wrestling Champion. He's been Wrestler of the Year. You've taught me some of your own tricks. You've taught me how to make promotional videos way prettier than I ever made them. But I feel like the biggest thing I've realized mentoring Shotgun Stevens is that for Colin Cutler to be the best that he can be, for me to become Big West Wrestling Champion, I don't actually need you. Of course, that's not the way we wanted to see that and ladies and gentlemen, but I know what you want to see next episode of Wild Okanagan Wrestling, former WWE star, one of the greatest tag team wrestlers in history, Billy Gunn. He will be on the program battling the aforementioned King Cash with that obnoxious Mike Rizzo in his corner. See you next time.